What's up, everybody? Welcome to Humbly Coffee TV. Um, I just butchered your last name, and I apologize for that right. in my intro before you got here. This is Roland. Skuman. Skuman from South Africa, but he is now an Arizona resident. Um, a lot longer than I've been. Yep. Yeah. And I'm not used to the heat. You're still not used still to the heat? Still not used to the heat. Roland, you won the gold medal in the 2004 Athens Olympics. This with a G. Boy, he's fast. He's in good form, Scorman. He's going to give the South Africans just the edge they needed. Yeah, it was more of a team effort. Uh, yeah, you, okay, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, mean, I know. So I was part of no, the I... people that won a medal, so you're right. Oh, I, was the, one, I was the one that won the medal. <laughs> but your team yeah. won the medal. Yeah, we won the medal. It was sort of the first night and then afterwards went on to win silver in the 100 freestyle That's and bronze amazing. in the 50 freestyle. Okay. Yeah. So what, what I found really interesting is like in 2004, you were doing this monumental thing. In 2004, I was on America's Next Top Model. So we both were doing big things at the same time. Right. So it took you, I again, when I researched, you guys almost didn't go to the Olympics, correct? Because of funding, no. it was just kind of a difficult process to get to that level. Yep, indeed. South Africa's just never been good about funding its athletes. Okay. It's a, a really political system, and unless you are you know, one of the top three sports, cricket, soccer, rugby, wow. you really don't have funding. Really? Um, so I knew I was going, I qualified, one of the other teammates had qualified. There were considerations that they weren't going to send the relay. Yeah. Um, but eventually, you know, they came to and came to. We, <laughs> sent, we sent the team and I'm seemed, sure they are to do all right. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like when you held up that gold medal, I'm gonna ask you what it took to you, you know, to get to that level. Um, but when you held that gold medal up, all all of you guys did. Like, was there more pride just because you knew what it took for sure to get there? For sure, I think yeah. when you dedicate so much time and effort and you know, blood, sweat, and tears yeah. into something, and it pays off when you're standing on the podium together and. You hear the national anthem playing, yes. you know, getting goosebumps, yes. and it, it's just such a special, special thing because so many people work so hard for so long, and they don't get to experience the experience. Exactly. Dreams. You know, or they get yeah. to experience the build up, but a gold medal is just sort of that's just the creme de la creme. Yeah, exactly I mean that's just. Right. Okay, so I stalked you a little bit. Oh boy, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Wikipedia. Thank you so much. <laughs> My husband was okay with that. No. Um, what I read was that you got into swimming at a young age, but it was over a girl right. to impress a girl. So before all the training, everybody was like, oh my God, Roland, you're amazing. You got to go for the gold. You got to do this. Did you get the girl? We dated for a couple of months. Oh. It, was, it was puppy love. Um, okay. He was young. I think it was 13, 14. I was 14 or 15. Okay. You know, and I think there was, there were a couple of reasons why I wanted to start swimming. Mm -hmm. One, one of my closest friends at the time, he was a junior triathlete. Wow. Just gone to Cancun for the World Junior Triathlon Championships. I started off as a triathlete, yeah. and they just happened. I mean, I also saw the cute girl on the team and thought, let me, let me start swimming. <laughs> uh, but I've never been conventional in the way I've done things. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think most people will probably just go and introduce themselves. Hey, want to go on a date? You just went for gold. I you, was a bit shy. Yeah. Uh, I've always been a bit shy. I just, I just <laughs> jump in the water and just happened that he was really good at it. So that's amazing. Okay, so when you realize and people around you realize you're really good and this could turn into something, when did you realize that? Like, when did it become that light was like, this kid can really go far in this sport? It was... Probably my junior year in high school. Okay. Um, I'd really, it, it wasn't a meteoric rise for a period of time, yeah. and all of a sudden it just sort of exploded. And it was my coach, I was doing tennis, rugby, soccer, cricket, field hockey, everything under the sun. Yeah. He sat me down and just said, Hey, I don't know how good you can be. My goal is for you to go to the United States, get a scholarship. Oh. I think you can do that if you focus on swimming. Oh. So, would you be willing to drop all the other sports? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do go full time. Well, and I find that with a lot of my friends who are athletes too, who either they're in the you know the league or something like that, they were actually really proficient and really good at multiple sports where they could pick one. And that says a lot if you could pick a sport to be you know you know go to the Olympics or go you know the NFL. What do you do to train outside of the pool? So there is the element of obviously swimming and you know right. how to. Properly and back. <laughs> He's still my husband. Can't back up. <laughs> uh. 
But when you're in the gym, you know, every sport has a specific thing that they have to train for. I'm, what, what does a swimmer have to do inside of a gym to get that nice level? Is it all kind of the same or does it... I think there's a lot of, the, a lot of similarities. We yeah. go through different fra- phases where okay. you start off with an eccentric phase and then you build onto it. There are other times where it, you, know, you get into competition, you may need to be a little bit more explosive. Yeah. I think it's very, very similar. Um, I think there are certain components where we would work energy systems okay. as opposed to weights or in addition to weights. We want to try and get most of that work in bands. the pool. Do you do yeah, bands? bands, whether it's rowing, a self bike, whatever it is. Just, I mean, we did, when I was in college, we did a lot of running, we did a lot of intervals, we did a lot of stadiums. Okay. Um, we did cycling, we would spin every once in a while, we would gym three days a week, we'd do nine swim sessions a week. So it was. It was a lot, but well, as I've gotten older, it's been yeah. a little bit more focused and I think probably a little bit better. I think the system's a little archaic yeah. um, in the sense that they want a lot of volume. And if you're doing a 50 freestyle or events that are sub two minutes, you don't need 100 kilometers a week of training. Yeah. Nine sessions, three gym sessions. Yeah. It's just a little bit redundant. Can you, well, you, can you burn out? I mean, can you oh, just sure. like, yeah, absolutely. So Roland, you have some cool stuff that you're doing now. Um, is this in correlation with swimming or is this just a whole new venture for you? It's, it's a bit of both. I'm trying to become a bit more business savvy. So that's part awesome. of what I've uh, yeah. you know, spent the last little while doing. And I, I really saw myself as being disadvantaged because I didn't have mentors. Okay. And I think that was sort of a crutch that I had, but I can be my own mentor. Absolutely. There's so many beautiful things online that I can yeah. research and I've been doing a bit more of that sort of fell into a chili oil so it's uh, nice. for culinary you use it on eggs everything so there's your first customer fantastic no, I, 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 I am not even joking <laughs> yeah. oh, the, the pellets are coming in this week being very very successful it's a South African brand, brand it's called Fine Hook yeah. um, it's really cool they've That's done really well cool. in South Africa really dealt well in England I'm going to be sort of spearheading the operations here there you go and I do clinics okay um, so I help teach Kids throughout the U.S. I've worked with several national teams, Canadian national teams. So Canada. you have to coach. Yeah, I mean, exactly. yeah. And I think it's progressing to to coaching people. Okay. I think for me, I, I've been through so many successes through many and very many failures. Yeah. And I think we we have a mindset that you know that looks down on ourselves, and yeah. we come from a place of inadequacy a lot of the times. Unfortunately, yeah. We do. And a lot of failures I realize are just um, for. I mean, obviously, I've. Launching athletes and then this, you know, you you learn along the way. So it's not it's, every failure is a, some type of gaining of information to you know do. I mean, money lost or just not knowing what you're doing sometimes, but you wing it. I have a confession. I do believe this is the humbly cockiness in me. I believe I you know did a little bit better than you than winning the gold medal. Um, if you know, a top model. <laughs> We had to do an underwater shoot, and um, I think it was salt water. We had to stay down. I think we had live sea creatures, you know, swimming around us, um, and we couldn't blow any bubbles out of our nose, and we had to look absolutely stunning while doing it. So I think that just beats anything that you've ever done, but the judges told me that I look like an East German swimmer. Sarah. I think she's really coming into her own. I feel she looks like an East German swimmer. Traumatized for life. Now, Roland, if you were a judge sitting next to Tyra Banks, hey Tyra, um, <laughs> would you think I look like, would you have voted me off by this photograph? You see, I'm probably one of those judges that are a little bit more compassionate, a little Aww. bit more understanding. Because I've been a swimmer for so long, Yeah. If you're not used to being in the water, it's not e- it's not an easy medium to be exactly. in. Exactly. Uncomfortable, not blowing any bubbles through your nose. Yes. I had to do a commercial in South Africa, and I was actually like Aquaman. Nice. And uh, I mean, we were in 40 degree water, ice cold, well, yeah. and had to be submerged the whole time. So I, I get it. You it's, get it. It's not easy. So he did win. So the no, I don't just... think he looked like an East German swimmer. Thank I mean, you. that's. I mean, can you guess, tell that I'm holding on to grudges 16 years later? Like, well, get over it, Sarah. Stop it. My guess is you, 
I mean, they probably have no idea what the East German swimmers look like. Yeah, I was gonna say. You know, so it's, it's, a, it's little a little unfortunate little in the comments. Stepping. I think Thank they you. want to do it to, to stimulate a little bit of emotion and probably not the positive emotion. It's not that nice. All right, so there it is. He would have voted me to stay on the show. Well, right. I mean, I don't, I mean, don't know. I mean, oh. I would have, I would not have given you a bad, you know, review on that. All right, next topic. <laughs> next topic. Okay, so this is just like a little quick question rundown. So I just want to ask you whatever comes to your mind. All right. It's not profane or any graphic things. All right. Have you ever saved someone's life swimming? Twice. Really? Yes. How? What? Once in Rio, there were people that got swept out. We had to, myself and Anthony Irvin ran in, saved them. Uh, same thing in South Africa, a place called Harold's Bay. I go every December, several people got swept out. I oh just rush in, swim out, try and save them. Have you ever had to use a restroom during the competition and you could not go? Oh, we just used the swimming pool. All right, so he's like my four-year-old son. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's he's a doing thing. something right. <laughs> you start him early. No. <laughs> How important, this is for parents out there. So when we moved to Arizona, I just, we, we, we now have a pool and I would wake up with nightmares, just petrify that my son, you know, we have a lock on our top that he can't get out to the right. backyard, but we threw him in swim school right away. And he's actually really good, our son. Um, not my husband, my son. And <laughs> how important is it? Would you advocate for parents? get your kids into swimming immediately. Absolutely. Yeah. That's probably one of the things I'm going to start doing is awesome. opening one or two swimming schools in the valley. Good for you. That is definitely the goal. Uh, I recommend it. There are too many unnecessary drowning. Swimming yeah. is a life skill. Yes. Literally a life skill. Yeah. So swimmers are, or parents there are yes. on the edge of wanting to put your kids into swimming, just do it. Yeah. Uh, don't think about it. It's going to cost, but at the it's, end of the day, it's, it's worth so it. It's so worth it. It's yeah. so worth it. Oh my God. So that's, I love that he said that because I do get a lot of parents and a lot of people asking me like, is Cyrus in swim school? And absolutely. Um, I believe that's essential. For sure. All right. Do you have to wax everything when you swim? I would never wax. Wait, what? <laughs> you said, do you have to wax everything? When you go swim, when for a competition. I, I'm, I'll, we shave, but you should, you know, wax. wax. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Waxing no. is too no. glamorous. So that's you a, shave everything. Uh, pretty much every everything. Everything. Uh, eyebrows and you know. Okay, <laughs> this is a PG show. And when... last question: Do you do you consider yourself humbly cocky? Humbly cocky TV. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's it's the whole the whole part of it is is for those who walk into a room and either know that they can reach their goals right. with humility but have that air about them that says, I can do it. You don't have to speak a lot. You don't have to showcase it and be boisterous, but it's just like that humbly cocky swagger that you know that you're the, the stuff. Yeah, I, I think there's a difference in being confident yeah. and, and being arrogant and yeah. having your that be from a place of inadequacy. Yeah. So there are people that project externally that I am the bee's knees, whatever yeah. it is, and I am going to win, but it's, it really is bred from such a place of inadequacy and yeah. self-doubt that that becomes such an external projection of what they are they project, hoping to achieve. They project, yes, absolutely. You know, so for me, it's a question of, I, I know how, what my potential is, yeah. and I'm gonna give it 100%, and I know on any given day I can win, yeah, and may win, yeah. um, but if somebody else is better than me on that day, that's the way it goes. That's it, and you learn, reality. and you do what you gotta do, and absolutely. So that's it for the questions. I just have one thing, can you, Crown me or not crown me? Can you place the gold medal? Excuse me, everybody. I'm gonna she go. She wants that crown. I am not. Uh, so this is my four-year-old swimming. He he reached a level where he got the gold to move on to his next class, and um, I would like to have. This is the cockiness in me. I would like to have the gold medal placed as if I have just won. She did it. She does not look like an East German swimmer. Yes. She should not have been voted off. <laughs> very, very naughty. <laughs> Congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. Don't All right. Don't be hanging. You got it. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna shake. Yes. Yes. We do shake here. All right. Um, I am gonna, you know, take a lot of pride in this and know that so I need to see therapy because if this is where my head stays. Spaces. 
That's not a good thing. Anyways, Roland, it was so amazing having Thank you today. You, you are, sure. he's amazing. And I'm gonna put all his information on our YouTube channel, also on Instagram, um, where you can direct message him, sorry. Where you can just hit him up, yeah. just kind of push <laughs> Call him any day and night. Anytime. Anytime, because <laughs> the school thing is amazing. Yeah, I know yeah, there's yeah. a lot of parents out here that for would love sure. that. So, thank you. Works. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah. it. All right, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that interview today with Roland. He is amazing. I love listening to how he got to where he got. Gold medal and all. And stand tall, shoulders back, chin up, and always stay humbly cocky because there's only one you. You know what to do. Subscribe to this channel. More coming soon. I, once again, am going to go eat because I am actually really hungry right now. I think somebody might be in our gym. All right, I got to go. Peace out, you guys. Bro, you were just meddled by a gold medalist. Okay. Oh my gosh, you were blind. Mm -hmm.